Today, a festival on a frozen lake that you have to see to believe. You're watching Blue Ribbon Hunter! We're here at the 33rd annual Eel Pout Festival in Walker, Minnesota, where 10,000 people have come out to brave the cold, and trust me, it is very cold, just to celebrate the eel pout. Now, what is an eel pout? Let's find out. It's the ugliest fish in the world. It's literally like an eel mixed with a fish. I don't know how that happened, but they're ugly. <laughs> they're like a dinosaur. I tell you what, if it, you catch one, it will wrap around your arm. Well, it's actually just a fish. Another name for an eel pout is a burbot. But, you know, I can't even describe in words. So the only question is if I hold it, are you going to kiss it? I will consider it. What does it mean to kiss an eel pout? It's for good luck for the rest of your life. Hook her up. Oh my God, that was like kissing a frog. I am about to eat what people refer to as the ugliest fish in the world. Well, the texture is really soft, it's squishy. And someone said to me it might taste a bit like a mushroom and it does, like a soft morel, earthy. So what's the process of making eel pout nuggets? Take me from the fish in the water. Well, first we have to catch them. And then we fillet them up, cut the fillets into nuggets, tempura batter them, and out and they go. Like the sweetest, firmest cod you've ever had. Really sweet. Yep. I've had friends try selling prime rib sandwiches. You can't give away prime rib here, but people, any kind of eel pout thing, they want it. Right, there's a reason walleye cakes are available. That's right. And eel pouts are sold out. That's right. Okay. You won't find your normal fair foods here. Here it's about the beer. Woo! Cheers, guys! The eel pout and the walleye cake. So how do you prepare the walleye? Well, we, we cook the walleye, flake it apart, take all of our ingredients, mm -hmm. kind of mix it all together a little bit so you get the flakes whole still. Right. And then patty it up, and we're good to go. Crab, you better watch your back. This is delicious. It's great. Cheese curds are a little squeaky, so it's like squeaky, salty cheese. And this one's really nicely battered right out of the deep fryer, so it's gooey. I'm going to get another bite. Mmm. If you really want to feel one with the eel pack, so take the polar plunge. By a power invested to me by the great state of Minnesota. The great state it is. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may take one. Here's what I'm wearing. Long underwear, leggings, two layers under this jacket, a full snowsuit, a hat, and I'm still a little chilly. These girls are on the ice in bikinis. Check it out. on a frozen lake. people have flocked to a frozen lake in, where are we? <laughs>